but it's also because how much fun can you make anti-fouling and polishing look? On Last the week, we'd finally got around to preparing Rowena for the water. So anyway, this week we get a little bit closer. Don't we tow her to the boat club, put the mast up, the sails on, and generally get her ready to go sailing. Raise the water line because last year the fouling was just getting up above the uh, line of the anti fouling. Sunday morning of the first May bank holiday. Um, Ian towed the boat down Friday. Um, it towed brilliantly with our new Suzuki. She was really, really good. Um, and we've been about an hour so far just getting the mast ready for going up. So, and that's only because we still don't really know what we're doing because it's only the second time we've put the mast up. <laughs> and we were trying to remember. Um, we've got Winnie. Being good, getting probably a little bit grumpy that she's tied out, and Izzy being an angel playing with her dollies in the car. There we go. So, as you can see, she's got beautiful polish on her at the moment, and she's got a lovely clean bum with her new Go Faster stripe. So, we're all very excited. Let's just hope this bit goes well. So we parked her here Friday and then we've um, got a very expensive car parked next to us. Mm. What would our boat insurance say? <laughs> Let's hope we don't have to find out. There we go. Right, let's do it. go mast is up actually went up really easily I had to put a bit of weight on it pulling it up but you know it's a big heavy mast you've got a pull look at anyone with my muscles it was easy <laughs> right so I've just got on board this is what site <laughs> oh my days it was clean and tidy but as always whenever we tow the boat here we have to store everything in the boat to get it here so my next job is to get the boom on which is just there I'll just show you one of Ian's inventions this year 
Um, on our river, sadly, it's not safe to keep your outboards out because of naughty people. So we were stowing it on the floor, which obviously wasn't good for the petrol draining in the wrong places. So he's invented this bracket, which goes onto our traveller. It's really convenient. It's much better for the outboard to be stored at this position than laying flat on the floor. And we actually have a cover that covers the cockpit and it just literally has a slight bump um, where it is. So hopefully this is gonna work. It's done quite a neat job. I don't know if this comes out in the shadows, but it looks really smart. So we're hoping that works. And obviously I've just got a bit of wood there to protect the floor which will be clean again. This was clean. And then we've just put money footprints everywhere, but at least this year it's all painted. So she's all pretty. These things take time, but she's getting there. So, on to the boom. Anyone would think I would be distracting myself from doing some hard labour. That's not like me at all, is it? <laughs> no, Ian would probably agree. <laughs> You really don't have to do that much to get a red fox ready for the water. But it is a scaled down yacht, not a scaled up dinghy. So everything takes a degree of work. The mast, although two people can raise it easily enough with the gym pole, you can't just pick it up and put it in position. We also have the lee boards to consider and they're associated lock and tackle. But other than that, sorting out the ringy rigging, putting the sails on, it was only an afternoon's work to get rowing and ready for the water. Hopefully we'll actually get a wet next weekend.